Hi again, this is another little tutorial. This is uh, the Rembrandt rendering engine in Flight Gear 2017.3.1. Um, differs from the LS quite markedly, specifically where it comes to lighting effects. Um, you can see here it's a sort of mid morning, early afternoon settings. You can see the objects have all got shadows. These shadows are generated in real time. Uh, you can get shadows inside the cockpit. Hang on. Yep, they're real time shadows. And you also get uh, actual light source and reflection generated by Rembrandt, which ALS can't do. Uh, we like it to do it, but it doesn't. Differences are uh, from ALS, you get a few different shader options. It doesn't do the terrain texturing the same. It's a trade off between light and effects or terrain effects, depending on which render engine you want to use. There'll be a link for the ALS tutorial in the description at the bottom of the YouTube when I do this. So let's have a look outside at the moment. Right, just to show the effect of Rembrandt before we go into the settings, I'm going to skip it across to night time. One second, I've got the weather settings as per advanced weather settings, the same as ALS I showed in the previous video. Skipping time through, you see the shadow moving with the sun position, and now you can see the big spot lamps kick in. You got the air fuel lighting. You got the this uh, the aircraft equipped with uh, the night sun spot lamp and landing lights as well. The air fuel's pretty well lit up, and the light source is dynamic. That's the searchlight. Let's just light up that GPU to my left here. There we go. Okay. So, when it comes to lighting, you're definitely going to be better with uh, Rembrandt. But if you're doing daytime stuff, you're better with ALS. Uh, the lighting gantries are for the airfield are providing light here. So the airfield is lit up and the inside of the aircraft is illuminated from the exterior lights in the airfield as well. And let's get it back to daytime. In fact we'll just keep it at night time to show this. Right, so you've got your Rembrandt. You've selected Rembrandt from your main uh, your initial menu before you put it into sim. And what do you do with it? Okay. Not I will say that not every aircraft in flight gear is Rembrandt compatible. Some people don't bother. Or some people do it but not very well. Uh, let's turn off that spot lamp. There we go. So uh, yeah, um our aircraft in FGUK are all compatible with both versions. That's all I'll say. A lot of hangers don't always do that. So, again, if you don't have your top menu up here, in the top left, press F10, bring it up, and go to your view and render options again. Right, you have the same initial options here in the main screen as you do with ALS. The vegetation shadows, you can set it as enabled, but it doesn't do anything in Rembrandt because it does its own shadows. Uh, so that is ALS specific. Also, you notice on the, on the right here the atmospheric, atmospheric light scattering ALS tick box. You can't tick it because it's not active. But you get below that, you get a new set of options called Rembrandt options. The shader options at the top are still there. Let's just have a look. Now, they do, you 
kind of effect. There's some are greyed out because they don't uh, work in Rembrandt. Uh, but um, you can change the lighting effects with it. And again, your model effects, water, urban, um, generic landmass, and stuff like that, they all work. So, let's look at the Rembrandt options. Now, there's a lot of things in here that will make a difference to how your Rembrandt works. The bloom and the ambient occlusion, they all do different things. And again, it's going to be a matter of personal taste to what you like. Um, for the shadows though, the shadows box, you can change the basic map size for the shadows. I run it on the maximum. It's uh, If you get it wrong, the shadows look jaggy. And it's a matter of fine tuning this. It's different PC to computer to computer. Graphic card to graphic card. So it's a matter of finding which one suits you best or works best for you. I like it in the top one. You get different filter levels and the number of cascades. Uh, if you set the cascades to 4, if you change the cascade numbers, this also affects how smooth the shadow is going to be. Again, it depends on your graphic card and your computer. The settings are different for everybody. So, it's a matter of play about with that. Find which settings suit you. Also, in your Rembrandt options, you have night vision. Uh, there's an ALS of night vision as well, but it doesn't look quite as realistic as the Rembrandt one because the Rembrandt is generating it in real time. The ALS one is just basically by green screen. You also have various other camera options you can play about with if you have a, like doing videography stuff. Make it black and white if you want. You can play about with things. There's a lot of options here if you like doing videos. Let me go turn those off. You also get the uh, there we go. Black and white old movie type stuff if you if you know that sort of thing. It's all done through your Rembrandt option screen. So, let's just close out of that. Now, we're just going to move the helicopter onto a dark area. So, it's probably dark. And you can see what I mean by the lights. So, give me a second. Right, okay, we're well now over in an unlit area there. We have fuel, there's the main paddock over there lighting and you can see the lights are the red and green illuminating the, the surface you're on you can see the nose of the aircraft is being illuminated by the reflection of the, the spot on the ground there we go so again using the Rembrandt is something I would use at night time or if you're needing to use something like the spot lamp in a search and rescue type mission such like it add, would add an extra level of depth to what you're doing. Um, ALS does spot lamps but it does it with uh, a light cone effect that it's visible all the time even during daytime. It's not as good uh, it's not as procedural as this. Um, it's not calculated in the same way at all. Preferably, we'd love the core development team for Flight Gear to have this lighting in the ALS, but as yet, they keep saying no. It's not possible, or they haven't figured out how to anyway. But that's the difference with your AS lighting and your Rembrandt lighting. 
Rembrandt does give you a huge frame rate hit though. So be aware of that. Uh, where you might be normally getting 30, 40 FPS, you might be half that when using Rembrandt, depending on how complex your terrain is and time of day, time of night, light sources, etc. etc. because it's got to calculate all the shadows. But for lighting purposes, it's quite good. So, not a lot to it. Basic functions, the sliders and that are mostly the same as what you get in ALS. Uh, but you get the additional functions with the Rembrandt and a much superior lighting effect. There we go. That's all there is to it.